Hey guys, Ralph here. And welcome to True Power Health on this wonderful, wonderful Wednesday here in Connecticut. Cold today, sun's out. We have no snow whatsoever, none, no remnants of snow. Now there's no leaves on the trees or anything like that, but the sun's out, you, you know, there's not a cloud in the sky. You look out the, uh, look out the window and you're thinking, oh, spring is here, man. Let's go for a run. Nah, <laughs> it's barely in the low 30s. Anyway, we have another month or so before it really breaks. Anyway, you saw the thumbnail. Will Smith ripped in 60 days. Now, there was a, he did a quasi-documentary that was just painful to watch about his quest to get ripped with a personal trainer. Uh, I mean, it's got a couple of years ago now. It was painful to watch. The personal trainer had no freaking idea what he was doing. None. He tortured the guy. The guy did everything he, he could possibly to do. He um, would fall off the wagon with the diet because he's absolutely starving the guy. I mean, 800 to 1,000 calories and working out all day. And th this is supposed to I mean, Jesus. Just, it was painful to watch. But, with that said, guys, I could do it shredded the way he went after it. Now, again, yes, he's got a family and all this sort of stuff, but he doesn't have a whole lot of it. I mean, he could get some working out of it. Absolutely freaking shredded in 60 days tops. Okay? No starvation. Eating as much as he wanted shredded okay now we've all seen him I mean he played Muhammad Ali for God's sakes I mean he's he's uh, relatively quite a good athlete you know and all that sort of stuff and bone structure and all this sort of stuff it, it, he got it before I'm sure he did it with steroids and you know with the Ali thing which might have had something to do with how hard it took was for nah the guy that was doing it, his trainer was adult didn't know what he was doing but anyway, I would get him right on the sugar. First thing on the sugar, help his frame of mind. Oh, by the way, guys, the reason I think about this is I just saw Chris Rock's Netflix video. Hilarious. Hilarious. You know, to each his own, a lot of F-bombs and all this sort of stuff. And hilarious. And he talked about Will Smith and just, just obliterated him. I mean, it would, but it was funny. It was absolutely funny. Anyway, I did a thing on Will Smith a while ago after I saw this quasi-documentary. And guys, <clears throat> it doesn't have to be this way. First of all, the guy is severely, severely depressed. He admits it. He's on all these anti-depression. Get rid of it. In two days, if he did what I told him. Two days. Get him ripped. I'd get him on a bike, a stationary bike. If he wanted the bulk, we could lift weights. Guys, it would take 60 days tops. 60 days top. And he looked better than when he was in Ali. Um, again, he was using steroids with Ali, and he looked puffy to me. Guys... That's what steroids do. Steroids puff you up in order to get ripped like the bodybuilders and all this sort of stuff. And these bodybuilders don't, do not walk around 24-7, 365 ripped. They don't. They gear and they pair down for a, uh, what you call it, a show, a competition, whatever you want to call it. And they, two, two months before, they begin starving themselves and dehydrating themselves and taking all these clenbuterols, these, these anti-diuretic, to just get them dry, 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 ripped. And then as soon as they're done, they go crazy. It's not, it's not all year round they look like that. They look big, but they are not ripped. Yeah. Steroids, steroids puff you out. They absolutely do. Anyway, <clears throat> I could easily get him 
down leaner than Ali in 60 days. Without torture, he'd have to work out. He'd have to work out um, if he wanted that Ali look, heavily muscled and all that sort of stuff. Absolutely could do it with his natural athletic ability. As I saw in the documentary, his, his willingness to go the extra mile to get it, he could, be, he could be done very, very quickly. Unless we'd have to find out if he's on some sort of medication and all this sort of stuff, you know, that affect his hormones, which he very well could be. But other than that, fruits, veggies, starches, sugars, sleep water sugar, a whole lot of bike, a whole lot of bike, wouldn't take long at all. Wouldn't take long at all. And the cool thing, unlike this Ollie thing where it goes to hell in a handbasket, he's lean for life. He's lean for life. And if he kept up with this protocol for six months, this time next year, no. We'd have to add fat to it. We'd have to add avocados. We'd have to have nuts and seeds and protein shakes and everything because he'd be too lean. That's what happens. You know, keto, paleo, you get this week 10 days of dehydration from, and you drop pounds and you just think, oh, this is just unbelievable. All I'm eating is bacon and cheese and everything. And I'm, I'm just, no, but it stops. It stops. It plateaus badly. And there's only one way left to keep it going. Pharmaceuticals, like Mark Sisson or anything like that, you need liposuction, the whole nine years. All you're eating is fat. Yes, it doesn't work long term without starvation. Okay? This, and it plateaus because all you're eating is fat. You are gaining fat. You just are. They can say what they want. But um, anyway, no coffee. Will Smith, no coffee, no Red Bulls, no Adderall, no Modafinil, nothing. Just fruits, veggies, and their juices. Corn, rice, peas, potatoes. Bada bing, bada boom. Life's good. Will, if you're watching this, give me a call. <laughs> okay, guys, love you all. Bye-bye.